The growing interest in the Philippines as a tourist destination, both from the local and international market, presents a unique opportunity for economic growth. For this to become more meaningful, an inclusive business model must be put in place to create more jobs. But is our local tourism industry ready for such a model? And how can this be sustainable for businesses? Good evening, I'm Sean Yao and this is Business Matters. We're doing good is good business. As the last ecological frontier of the Philippines, the archipelago of Palawan truly is a slice of heaven on earth. Located on the northern part of the province is the town of El Nido, the gateway to Bakit Bay, home of El Nido Resorts. Having been blessed with scenic landscapes, Crystal clear waters and pristine beaches, El Nido Resorts has consistently been listed as one of the best tourist destinations the world has to offer. We in El Nido Resorts, we believe that to operate in one of the best places in the world is, is really a huge responsibility. For us to sustain our business, we have to ensure that the quality of, of the natural environment is, is assured. The resorts operate in islands that host fragile ecosystems. With one of the highest diversity and highest coral coverage in the entire Philippines. It has been declared a protected area and thus in top priority for conservation. It is an asset to Alida Resorts to be in a place so cherished and looked after. But this entails a lot of responsibility. The approach could be filed under two main categories. One is hardware. You have to invest in technologies that will help you uh, manage the environment. The other heading is the software. So we have extensive trainings among all our staff to ensure that everybody understands that uh, the, the effort. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, set 11 requirements for the Green Hotel standard. <laughs> High up the list is the collaboration with community, something El Nido Resorts takes to heart. It's not a one-time thing. You know, it's not you go into a community and, and you buy something from them and, and you allow them to remain that way. It's, it's not that. It's, it's really a process where both of you can grow, not just uh, financially, but also um, you grow in terms of relationships. Sitio Kiminawit is one of the fishing communities here in El Nido. It is also one of the beneficiaries of El Nido Resorts Partnerships. Located a few kilometers away from Pangalusian Island Resort, Kiminawit supplies the resort with fresh fish every day. Aware that fishermen sometimes resort to destructive fishing methods, El Nido Resorts thought to incentivize traditional fishing methods known locally as Pangkakawil. We took it to uh, another level, no? so that we, they, they're no longer just our suppliers for our fish. They have become our partners in creating unique activities for our guests, where guests can go out uh, with the fishermen. Adelino Atison is one of the resort's 100 partner fishermen. Ako po noon, nung wala pa pong fishing, pagkita po ang hanapuhin namin noon. Dose pa lang po si Rangkilo noon. Sa isang araw po, ang kita po namin, pinakamalaki na po ang paiban rin po sa isang araw po. Minsan po sir, wala. Guests who wish to experience the traditional way of fishing with local fishermen could do so for a fee that goes directly to the fishermen. In a local boat out at their favorite fishing grounds, the local fishermen would have their interaction with tourists with them as guides. 
In this activity, the fishermen also get to demonstrate a practice that El Nido Resorts does to promote sustainability. Ito isang bisogo lang. Ano uli? Oy! Ayan ako. Hindi. Anong klase is dahil, sir? Lapong puti kang tawag dito. Ito sa amin, hindi namin hinuhuli ito. Binibitawan po ito pag ano. It's a learning experience for guests just how serious Filipinos are in conserving natural resources. Ngayon, sarili ko po sir bangka. Ang binibigay ko sa amin sir, 2-5. Tapos sa helper ko po sir, limandal lang po sir ang binibigay ko sa kanya. Sa akin na po sir yung plowel. More than the fish that they catch, which is eaten either sashimi style or cooked at the resorts, the exchange of stories is what makes this activity very high in the guests' list of favorites. I was able to help my family with my children, with my children, with my children. In addition to the additional income, the human aspect, you know, the component that, that really uh, compels us to create activities like this is to provide that venue, that platform where uh, human beings, the fishermen in this case, and their guests, who would never have had an opportunity to meet, to interact, now they're able to swap stories. The Philippines is blessed with a lot of beautiful places, but we are constantly haunted by stories and images of a once majestic place that has turned into paradise lost. The reason being that we took it for granted, or we didn't care for it enough. El Nido Resorts does not ever want that to happen. It's up to us, the inhabitants of El Nido and the people who work in El Nido, to make sure it stays that way forever. So it's up to us to protect it. So number one is to create uh, that culture, and number two is to is act, act upon that culture by you know in, instilling rules and regulations amongst the staff and all the employees who are here. Si ang gusto namin mas serve sa mga guests na good food, free from pesticides, kaya organic ang. People come here for two reasons. One, because the beauty of the place. Two, the, is the beauty of the people. So it's, we, it's, we feel it upon ourselves to give back and thank them for making and creating such a wonderful place, for being such wonderful people, creating such a wonderful, friendly, hospitable envir environment that people want to visit. Have you heard of the term food miles? It's measured by the fossil fuel used to transport your food. And for businesses, it's also a measure of sustainability. The lesser the food mile, the lesser the fuel, the friendlier you are to the environment. Wanting to keep their food mile to its minimum, El Nido Resorts just built its own organic farm. Ang gusto namin, ma-serve sa mga guests na good food, free from pesticides, kaya organic ang nagawa namin dito. Kasi lahat naman dito is purpose to is para sa mga guests, para sa guests ng resorts. What we're trying to create here is not just self-sufficiency for our resorts, but the larger or the bigger message is that people who are used to using inorganic fertilizer would be convinced that the natural methods are really still superior. They're healthier. Next to the farm are their hogs, which they call happy pigs. Uh, yung mga fields namin na ginagamit dito is uh, puro organic. Ito yung fields natin na uh, minimix at saka piniferment for two weeks. So ito yung itsura ng feeds. Even the way we raise our hogs, the kind of formula that we have uh, to feed them, that's something that we share. It's not something that we mm. keep for ourselves. We believe that mm. more people get into this. This is really a lifestyle 
commitment. All these are business values that the resort wants the community to embody. The principle is that the more people to do it, the more sustainable not just the business, but the place will become. So they make it a point to hire locals all coming from El Nido. Another thing is, uh, sa pagtrabaho nila dito, uh, naka-ipon sila kasi, yun nga, uh, hindi sila mag-travel, yung pagkain nila, makamino sila sa gastos, makasave sila. Through this, they are able to make it an inclusive business. Something that is mutually beneficial for both the hotel management and the communities that they work with. We are successful because of them. Because this, this, this is their place, this is their, their locality. On top of all this, El Nido Resorts shows its care for the community through its own desalination plant. For all its efforts and initiatives, El Nido Resorts is recognized globally. In 2010, and again in 2013, they won the prestigious Aussie Green Hotel Standard, something all hotels and resorts in Southeast Asia vie for. Most recently, they received the Gold Award for Environmental Education Program from the Pacific Asia Travel Association. And if you ask them, they'll simply tell you that they just want what's best for their customers. People come here for two reasons. One, because the beauty of the place. Two, the, is the beauty of the people. So it's, we, it's, we feel it upon ourselves to give back and thank them for making and creating such a wonderful place, for being such wonderful people, creating such a wonderful, friendly, hospitable environment that people want to visit. Nung wala pang asosasyon, yung, yung cave na yan, parang walang silbi sa amin noon. Nung wala pang, wala pang development doon sa Sohoton, sabi namin, kweba lang yun. Parang walang value. Pero nung nandito na kami sa asosasyon, nagkaroon na ng asosasyon, then sabi namin, ito pala yung gamit ng kapaligiran. Sohoton Services Association in Basay Samar proves that empowering the local community while protecting natural resources is possible. Preserving the beauty of nature, at the same time impacting social change in the locals. Truly the best way to boost tourism. The province of Samar is one of the unsung tourist destinations of the Philippines. has its share of nature's bounty. One of summer's jewels that enchantingly lure tourists and locals is the Sohotan Cave and Natural Bridge in Basay, Samar, making the province the ultimate frontier. The fascinating Sohotan Cave and Natural Bridge is an 840-hectare protected area and was declared a national park on July 19, 1935. The best way of preserving the wonders of nature while boosting tourism is including locals in protecting the environment. Sohotan Services Association, a community-based sustainable tourism project of the Department of Tourism and the local government of Samar giving people the opportunity to have a job through tourism. Kami po yung nag ng tour papuntang Sohoton Caves and Natural Bridge. And then nag-start po kami uh, 2003. The association is composed of men and women from Barangay Mabini and Inuntan, with more than 100 members. If you sum up community-based tourism, actually everybody benefits out of it. So communities augment their daily income. Even the local government earns from it. Sohotan Services Association created a great impact on the lives of the communities involved for 13 years now. <laughs> and one good example for this is their president itself, Richard Alibado. Ang trabaho ko po noon, nung pagkatapos ko po ng uh, pag-aaral ko, nang instruction po ako. 
talagang mahirap kasi uh, pag nakaipon ka na ng 1,000, masaya na ako noon <laughs> sa isang linggo. Hindi pa regular. At first, it was a financial problem for Richard staying at Sohoton, but he never stopped believing in this project. Bumalik talaga ako dito sa Sohoton kahit alam ko na nung una wala pang income, pero na sabi ko, sa susunod na panahon, tataas din yung income ko dito. Malaki po yung naitulong dito sa amin, dito sa pamilya namin. Dito sa Sohoton na pagtapos namin yung tatlo ko pang kapatid na babae. And then yung isa nga, uh, dito rin, bumalik din dito sa Sohoton. Kasi dito siya kumuha ng pambaon, dito rin siya nagtatrabaho sa ngayon. Dahil sa association, uh, nakatulog ito sa aking pag-aaral hanggang sa nakatapos ako sa, ano, sa pag-aaral ko sa college. Tapos sa, sa trabaho din. Tourists can stay overnight in its own eco-lodge. Ito po yung eco-lodge namin. Uh, medyo meron lang kunting dapat ayosin. Available namin sa ngayon is meron po kaming six rooms. Apat na single and then dalawang family room and they serve food fresh from their own organic farm. The most awaited tour starts with a 10-minute pump boat ride. The scenery along the way will give your eyes a feast of natural beauty. The name of the place is derived from one of the activities in Sohoton Caves and Natural Bridge. Ito na po yung cave na papasokin natin. Ito po yung pinatawag na Panhulugan Cave. So, Panhulugan Cave is just one of the magnificent caves of this natural park. It is 569 meters long and the tour inside the cave takes approximately one hour. So dito mayroon po tayong natural musical organ. So, nag-recreate po siya ng sound kasi hollow. May oxygen inside. <laughs> An hour of magical exploration does not end there. The tour will then head on to the enchanting natural bridge by kayaking. Tourists will then be welcomed by a fantastically huge arc-shaped rock that connects two mountain ridges spanning the Sohotan River. Ito na po yung natural bridge dito. Ito yung isang bridge. Yung activity po namin dito is yung swimming. And then, pwede din mag-tricking dito. Nung wala pang asosasyon, yung, yung cave na yan, parang walang silbi sa amin. Nagkaroon na ng asosasyon. Then, sabi namin, ito pala yung gamit ng kapaligiran. If you compare the earnings that they had in 2014, which was over 314,000, come 2015, they had 1.16 million. And these earnings were spread throughout the community. Kasi dapat yung komunidad kasali para lahat involved sa development. But while Sohoton Caves and Natural Bridge makes its mark on tourism, Samar Province also got its share of nature's wrath. On November 8, 2013, Typhoon Yolanda, considered to be the most powerful storm to make landfall in recorded history, struck the Philippines. Yolanda affected about 1.5 million families with a casualty count of 6,300, including the Sohoton properties. Nung una, medyo maayos na po yung tour namin dito. Uh, dumadagsa na rin yung bisita. Pero nakakapanghinayang din kasi sinalanta kami ng bagyo nung Yolanda. Then sinundan naman yun ng Ruby. And then yung gamit namin, halos lahat maubos. Nung Ruby po is yung makikita po natin yan, is napuno po yun ng tubig. 
Yun, yun po yung level ng tubig na rumagasa noon ng ruby. Kaya doon talaga naubos yung gamit namin. Uh, doon sa kiosk namin, makikita ninyo doon yung natira na lang na isang kayak na sira. But with the Filipinos resilience and with the help of some government agencies, NGOs and the people in the community, Sohot and Services Association is slowly getting back on its feet. Their earnings actually for 2015 for us was very significant. If you compare the earnings that they had in 2014, which was over 314,000, come 2015 they had 1.16 million. And these earnings was spread throughout the community. A lot of people said, why should we go to Regionate? What's in Regionate after Yolanda? So it was a milestone actually for the, the tourism industry and of course for our communities here. In just half of this year, earnings now stand at just under one and a half million pesos. That's why the association is planning to expand its membership to other barangays. Kasi dapat yung komunidad kasali para lahat involved sa development. Sustainable community-based tourism such as Sohot and Services Association is one way of doing inclusive business. By developing touristic projects and programs which are socially and environmentally responsible, culturally enriching, and economically viable, it contributes to the community's development and significantly affects the community's quality of life, especially the most disadvantaged. If you practice responsible tourism, advocate the love and respect for Mother Nature, then surely the environment is a winner. Sa ngayon, uh, nakakabili na kami ng masarap na ulam, nakakain na kami tatlong bisis sa isang araw, saka yung mga bata mayroon ng pambaon sa eskwilahan. If you ask me, the most beautiful form of tourism is actually community-based tourism. It does not mean that we are not interested in big ticket investments for tourism because we do need big investors for tourism but if you bring them to the sites and if you bring them to a site that involves the communities who live near that tourism asset and you get to touch the lives of these people through tourism then that's the best form of tourism and the most meaningful protecting the environment boosting tourism and eradicating poverty this is the DOT, the DENR, the local government, and Sohotan Services Association's way of shared prosperity. Tourism goes beyond scenic places and breathtaking views. It also means opportunity for businesses to create jobs for the community, specifically those from low-income families. A business helping communities and communities helping the business. Join us again next week as we share more stories of people whose lives have changed for the better. Do follow us on Facebook at Business Matters PH or our website at www.businessmatters.com.ph. Once again, I'm Sean Yao and this is Business Matters, where doing good is good business.